If a straight line be bisected and a straight line be added to it in a straight line, the square on the whole with the added straight line and the square on the added straight line both together are double of the square on the half and of the square described on the straight line made up of the half and the added straight line as on one straight line. So starting with line AB, we bisect it at C, and then we draw BD in line with AB, BD not being equal to anything in particular. What we want to show is that AD squared plus DB squared are twice AC squared plus CD squared. So let's start with the construction. We will draw CE perpendicular to AB, and CE will be equal to AC. We will then connect AE and EB. We will then draw EF parallel to CD and DF parallel to CE. Now notice that AD and EF being parallel and CE falling on them, we know from proposition 1.29 that angle DCE plus angle CEF are equal to two right angles. Angle ECD is a right angle, therefore angle CEF is also a right angle. Angle EFD will also be a right angle, therefore angle CEF plus angle EFD are two right angles. Now note that angle BEF plus angle EFD will be less than two right angles, and therefore by the fifth postulate, if we produce EB and FD in the same direction, they're going to meet somewhere. They'll meet at G, and then we connect AG. This concludes the construction. Our strategy now is to show how different angles are related, as well as how different lines are related. We will then use the Pythagorean theorem to prove what we are seeking to prove. So first, we know that AC is equal to CE, so we have an isosceles triangle. Therefore, angle CAE and angle AEC are equal. Angle ECA is a right angle. Therefore, both angle CAE and angle AEC together are a right angle, so individually they are half of a right angle each. Similarly, angle CEB and angle EBC are half of a right angle. We have therefore found that angle AEC plus angle CEB is a right angle. Since angle EBC is half of a right angle, we know that angle DBG is also half of a right angle. But we also know that angle BDG is a right angle, so angle BGD must also be half of a right angle. Therefore, triangle BDG is an isosceles triangle, so BD will be equal to DG. Since angle EGF is half of a right angle, and angle EFG is a right angle, we know that angle GEF is half of a right angle. Triangle EGF is an isosceles triangle, and so EF is equal to FG. We are now ready to use the Pythagorean theorem. Looking at triangle EAC, we see that EA squared is equal to AC squared plus EC squared. EC being equal to AC, EA squared is therefore equal to twice AC squared. Taking a look at triangle EGF, we see that EG squared is equal to GF squared plus EF squared. EF is equal to GF, so EG squared is equal to 2 times EF squared. But notice that we have a parallelogram ECDF, therefore CD is equal to EF, so EG squared is equal to twice CD squared. If we add both of these relations together, we find that EA squared plus EG squared will equal twice AC squared plus twice CD squared. Now since angle AEG is a right angle, triangle AEG is a right triangle, so AG squared is equal to EA squared plus EG squared which will also therefore be equal to twice AC squared plus twice CD squared. 
Now notice that angle ADG is a right angle, therefore triangle AGD is a right triangle, so AG squared is also equal to AD squared plus DG squared. But DG is equal to DB, therefore AG squared is equal to AD squared plus DB squared. And we have thus arrived at our conclusion that AD squared plus DB squared is equal to twice AC squared plus CD squared.